I have not filmed and edited anything in a while and it's been a few months for a few reasons. Um, some construction work, family events, um, and then a bunch of rain. Every single weekend in San Diego has been raining so most of the time that was dedicated to uh, record and uh, put some time and set some time aside was uh, was just uh, I guess pushed pushed out because of the weather which is actually not a bad thing because uh, we needed the rain but you could see as a result a lot of the things are just flowering flowers are blooming some of the gardens and some of the things that I keep for already look at the Swiss chart here on these raised beds they're just exploding and then I have there a few others I have some some things that I'm just growing to test out and see how they do um, celery obviously I know what, how, it, how it does and it does really well here so I love the celery and then also I grow some uh, onions and uh, this is giant garlic elephant garlic it's called there you go and right here right here I have lovage and it's just sprouting right now uh, I love that and an attempt to grow some uh, parsley but it's not it's not doing too well but this is the uh, kind of the, uh, the update on on these raised beds so there's more to to come I planted some new uh, fruits but there's a lot of I would say questions and uh, from some of the audience on please give us an update on the garden and in particular I had two or three people asking me about how is the kumquat Nagami kumquat doing well here I am near the Nagami kumquat and if there is something that I could say this is set it and forget it I don't know for many reasons uh, one is at the bottom of the hill and it's sitting next to my raised bed so it takes most of the nutrients from there but two I don't do anything this is kind of the best the best fruit you want the tree is grown probably about seven eight feet tall um, I've given quite a bit of it uh, from from the fruit uh, I, I set up bags and I give away to neighbors and friends because they love them I do too but I can't eat them quite this fast and uh, so that's the reality plenty plenty of good fruit shoot something it's uh, early in the morning so there you go you get a sense of what's going on my neighbors love these and uh, I have some friends that make great gems from them decent size you can see here there you go as usual so this is the update on the Nagami Kamquat it's it's falling over look at this it's whipping so that's that Hmm. It's a late season if I notice something. It's a late season. Sorry for my fingernails. I've been moving and digging soil in the morning early before before I uh, get the other projects going. But look, this is the key um, on the Nagami Kamquat. Sweet, I'd say uh, citrus rind and acidic lemonish like interior love it best thing ever but this is money i guess one thing is not to overlook and and be mindful of and i mentioned this in a few videos as i give a garden update make sure you have some flowers next to your fruit trees and garden so you can attract pollinators i always do um, and they're just lovely to look at but also um, they do help so that's uh, that's the uh, that's the key here. Be mindful of that. Um, this is the hill, so I got some work to climb up and show you some of the updates. So here's an interesting and cool update. Uh, one of the Suriname cherries that I planted on the side of the house, on the other side of the house, not in raised beds, it's just on the retaining wall. It's really picking up, and. Uh, look at the flowers i'm trying to see if you can see the suriname cherry i don't know the variety i planted um they're from uh two or three fruits i tasted and i liked one was big super red dark red and and 
sweet and the other one was a little bit more of a uh, sour note to it but uh, I love them and they're just I think we're, we're, we're past the point of uh, sitting in that pot it's more like uh, they're here to stay and they love the shade that I'm providing for them and so there you go full of flowers about three years old if that about three years old yeah that's the reality so there's a lot of a lot of new flowers and then this is uh, fruit that's set I don't know if the camera can can uh, focus there you go so very interesting I'm looking forward to eating some uh, Suriname cherries another favorite and uh, lovely fruit here you go Australian finger lime I wish you could smell this amazing I'm gonna set it right here and I'm gonna come, come back and get it I need to feed this plant uh, it's you could see we have new flowers new buds and then also new fruits so doing well I guess I'm competing for attention with some of the crows around here because they're just making all kinds of noises but there you go so it's in a pot and it loves it in a pot it's one of the potted citrus that I have and it grows and it's grown I try to keep it tight and I try to keep it small but so what it's not what I plan it's what the plant wants but you can see here um, quite quite a few uh, quite a few fruit hopefully the camera focuses I'm using a professional camera but I don't have a holder for it because it's another two pounds in my hands and it's just too cumbersome to to maneuver around my uh, many many hurdles to get to the to the flowers and or the fruit trees and talking about additional pollinators at the bottom of my heel I have a bunch of flowers so here you go flower galore flower galore here and then more so I have some succulents and then uh, fruit fruit trees going up the hill what I wanted to show you is this um, just so I cover my uh, soil my ground it's mostly decomposed granite um, it's covered by ice plants and they're great but they also have a tendency to take over so I spent last weekend cleaning up some of the stairs because they're buried in weeds and, and, and uh, also ice plants and then they literally encircled and just about choked out this improved mayor and it's lovely because this is young this is about that's more than a year old now but he was a tiny guy and I just wanted to have one that's handy I love having uh, if you look at the zone one around the house um, if I take two or three steps on the hill and I get some lemons those are probably the most uh, utilize fruit in in our kitchen lemons limes and so on so right above i have oranges more and more oranges this is a valencia and that's the washington navel and then an experiment that i've had right here and it's growing big time it was uh this bear's line sweet bear's line and it produces and it grew really well and fast it's, it's bush like and I try to keep it low and it covers my sadly looking jamoricaba it's not dead but it was suffering so I had to do one thing um, I'm putting this netting around it for two reasons in the future once I'm looking forward to producing a tree that produces I'm gonna circle the, the tree so um, creatures don't get to the fruit but two it just holds mulch better birds and you can see here some something dug already in it birds love digging uh, for uh, worms and in compost and they just make a mess and they spread all my mulch all over the place and it's been a challenge keeping this mulch because it's just a little bit on a on an inclined hill here but I promise I'll take better care of this jaburikaba and with the rain that's coming it should get a whole lot better um, so here's another quick update I had the opportunity to clean and uh, retie the uh, 
grapevine and it's now uh, breaking dormancy. Well, it broke dormancy a while ago, you can see fruit. And it's just doing lovely. But I think one unique thing that you haven't seen, and right on this side, let me just turn around so you can see a little bit better. Sorry about the fast movement. Is this uh, white sapote, the Vernon variety. And we got fruit. I'm bagging every single one of the fruit that I have. Maybe I have some exceptions. I've had a couple of them because I have some squirrels now that come around. They don't live on my property but they know where the buffet is and they just give me a quick uh, check every so often. And uh, guess what? I'm, I would like, I would like to eat some of my fruit. So there you go. And so here's a good example of that challenge with the mulch. I mulch the tree and then because of the incline, birds come in, scratch, and then my mulch keeps running down the hill. So I'm gonna use some barriers and some uh, wattles and, and some uh, additional uh, wood so I can uh, support and park and hold that mulch in, in place. What's unique about this? It's grown so fast. Look at the flowers. Vernon White Sapote flower setting. I cut the tips because I don't want a tall tree and it's just starting to split and you can see the new growth. So, um, new growth, new fruit and uh, why not? Let me see if I can, I can pick one up and we're gonna do a taste test on it too. Oh, it just fell in my hand, so that's a good sign. If it fell in my hand, that means the sapote is ready to eat. So, yay, super excited. I'm using those bags to protect them from squirrels, as you know. This is a white sapote, Vernon. We're gonna taste test this guy. Looking good, fairly large. Lots of TLC here. But you can see the tree, and it's about, oh, even chopped up without its, uh, I topped off the tree even then. It's about eight and a half, nine feet tall. So there you go. And haven't had much time to do and uh, play and take care of this uh, lime. But I'm, again, here's the mulch. Same challenge, put mulch and it keeps running down. So I gotta take care of that. I'm gonna set this fruit. And I'm not gonna carry it with me. But I'm gonna leave it here and pick it up. But I guess this is my priority. You can see the birds and the creatures digging, and so then just absolutely spreading mulch and uh, decomposed granite on my on my stairs, on my stairs that I built. So I have to take care of that. Ever sweet or super sweet uh, pomegranate. Broke dormancy, and you can see some of the buds forming right now. It's growing fast, and uh, there you go. So I don't know what I love more here. On the right hand side, you can see the prolific, I wouldn't even call it prolific, super prolific Osborne fig tree. I also trimmed it a little bit because it was growing too fast and I love my trees to stay. Picked some of the weeds. But, hmm, if you wanna be impressed and the color don't do it justice because you don't see the contrast and I don't know if the camera can focus. Look at the ever-bearing mulberry. I don't know if you can see how much fruit we're looking at here. It'll be a better picture if, only if, uh, I've never seen a, a tree so loaded in my life. This is going to be insane, insane. I'll take an updated video once it picks up some color, otherwise it's going to be difficult for you guys to see, but this ever-bearing mulberry tree about nine feet tall. I also trimmed it so it's you can see the flat tops 
it is absolutely loaded insane i mean i don't know i love this fruit and my younger younger daughter sophia who's not here to help me also loves this fruit so i'm gonna cover it early on so the birds don't get to it and we're gonna have a great great season in mulberries so here's the red barren peach starting to flower and sadly also chopped up looking fairly sad because all its branches collapsed with so much fruit last year it, they really broke so I had to chop it off like it's it's been through a war a war zone so sorry about that but it's just a lovely 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 tree and it's just picking up so this is four years old it was planted in 2020 uh, and Brianna planted it and loved the fruit loved the fruit and right above it is this desert delight nectarine which broke dormancy a while ago and uh, you can see we're dealing with some of the uh, diseases that are typical to some of the stone fruit which is can be treated but I found that it doesn't impact the fruit so I stopped fighting it and I'm more of a natural grower if it makes it in my yard and it produces fruit it'll stay here if it doesn't we'll find a way to uh, to replace it and that's that and right next to it our uh, has or has avocado and this is what I was talking about and I'll show you this a little bit better from a different view look at the mulch I mulch these trees significantly and all the mulch is being just pushed on down by birds uh, because they dig and they scratch for worms and organic uh, I mean anything that lives in organic uh, compost so now I'm using those wattles and the barriers and I'm putting some uh, trimmed branches here to stop them from just absolutely pushing all this mulch down the down the hill because it creates a, a huge a huge logistical challenge where most of the mulch stops and comes down and uh, lands on the ice plants so I want the mulch under the trees not on top of the uh, ice plants so this is my solution right now we'll see we'll test it out we'll see how it goes I need to feed this guy it's uh it's it's about to flower so it's just doing great but I think it just needs a little bit more nitrogen because I see some spots on the And it's the same thing for the newly planted gem avocado. I did the same thing. Look, the water runoff because of the teal creates a challenge. So I put this straw waddle, propped it up with some serious heavy duty hardware and um, mulched it significantly so the mulch stays in place. There you go. So now you see, these have been the projects that I've had and look something is already digging in my uh, in my mulch pile so I have to do something but look what's not to love this is a tiny was a little tiny 39 bucks avocado and look at it it's awake loves it new growth and I've heard very good things about the gem avocado and that's the reason it's uh, sitting here in the yard and here I am in guava territory this is alabadi look at this I wish you could smell it I wish you could smell it this is this is ripe it's actually overly ripe if I look just two fingers if I press it it's just gonna it's gonna just Now, very interesting variety. I had a video specifically on this, so I'm not gonna do an update on the fruit. Super soft, no notes of any kinds of uh, sour. It's sweet and very soft, 
very interesting variety. Most people that taste this, they love it and they want to get a cutting. Alabadi. It should be a white variety. It should be the sweetest white variety. It's got a little pink in it. I'm not mad. The fruit tastes great. I'm okay with it. Hmm. This is a, a tropical experience in a bite. I cannot explain. This is absolutely your best ice cream, like guava ice cream or any kind of jelly gem. Yeah, yeah. The smell isn't just amazing, and so is the, the, the taste of this fruit. I'm not a fan of soft guavas, but if I were to pick one of the varieties, this is absolutely amazing. Again, sweet and not a note of any sour or any sour tone. It's sweet and very, I'd say, soft and creamy. Wow. So here's the gold nugget mandarin. I think it had 20 mandarins, the entire tree. This is the off year. And um, every year is like clockwork. One year is it produces too much that the branches fall and break. And this year, one, two, three on this side. And maybe another dozen on the other side. But now, unlike the previous year, look at this. A lot, a lot, a lot of uh, buds and start is, is starting right now to uh, to flower. Just plenty of buds on it, so it's plenty of activity. So here's another reality and a not a lovely tree. This is the Indian guava. Look at this. This is so prolific. And these are ready. This is smaller, but it's ripe, so I have to take it off because it's gonna fall. Again not sweet at all but just as smooth and just as uh, I'd say creamy uh, let's see if I have the same again I apologize for my colors of my nails I've been working and I'm setting up soil but look at the difference in this one compared to the other one this is the Indian guava wow super creamy one half fell off but look at this absolutely amazing fruit again the only comparison, if you look at the alabadi that I just broke earlier and this one, this is more of a uh, natural, no sweet, no sour notes, very bland but very fulfilling. This could be a meal. Any guava, any guava that I pick here could be a meal anywhere in the world. So absolutely impressed with it. And it produces so heavily. It's literally sideways and branches are breaking and and absolutely impressive in fact I, I chopped it up and I used some of the leaves uh, as mulch because I want it to get trimmed it's just too big too big for my liking but very impressive uh, variety India you do a good job thank you and next to it a newly planted decision because I didn't have room and I wanted to uh, plant something and I want to keep this trimmed and small this Indian variety, I have also planted another Surinam cherry and it's sitting right here. So I'm uh, looking forward. I mulched it heavily, I planted it, so hopefully it does well. Uh, the rain that's coming, it should uh, give it a, a new boost because I want, uh, I want some variety in the garden. And on the other side, here we go again. This is the Another pomegranate, broke dormancy. I tried to clean it up a little bit, but you can see buds are popping. This is the wonderful variety. I love this pomegranate. I think, I think by far, it's one of the best tasting that I've tried. I'm sure there are other varieties. Uh, I'm not an expert in, in pomegranates, but my favorite part is that it's not just sweet. It's got a mix of tart, sour sweet flavor so it's a complex complex flavor to my palate so it's good to have this is one of the oldest trees here i don't know probably about 10 years old now and i love this and it produces a lot so no no need for anything else and here is another the uh orange trees that we had and this is by far an amazing winner this is the paroco block orange it should be the bigger uh, uh, oranges but I told you this year most of them were small but super tasty 
all the fruit that fell I left it to feed the tree you can see new growth popping so I have to feed a little bit more and then the old leaves will yellow out and fall off but uh, it's growing and it produced really well this year um, I love it worth worth considering the Taraco blood orange and as I swing around you're gonna see another this is not a producer this is an insane producer all the time every time you see this is the more and more orange it is look at this just for color in your yard this is what you should look for uh, if I break this with my hand it'll make a mess oh. if the internet and YouTube allows an attempt to smell the fruit you would be absolutely mesmerized look at this it's everywhere and now you can see also some of them some of the new growth and flowers and then plenty of fruit there's so much fruit here it's just unbelievable uh, this is the heaviest producers of all my oranges I don't know if it's the location if there's the variety but look at this it goes on and on the fruits rolling down the hill super super impressed with it um, I don't think it wins in the test in the taste test across multiple varieties that I have because this is definitely sweeter and it's also got more complex flavor but this has the earthiest most amazing color it's not sweet but it's a magical fruit if you want a variety in your garden I recommend growing more than two or three varieties